Thanks, Coach, so much for stopping by. I know that the loss to Winthrop probably still a little bit fresh, mm -hmm. but can you kind of pull yourself away from it and realize just how far you guys have come in a year's time? I know this time last year you guys finished one and six in conference. You're five and one right now. You guys are on the rise, no doubt about it. Yeah, that's a tough part, especially this time of the season, because, you know, playoffs start next weekend. So yeah. we could very well see them again. So I told them, I'm like, you know, we didn't play well. You have to understand we did not play well today, but you have to be over it because we're going to play them again soon. Yeah, and, and you hope you get that chance. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like you were able to learn and can learn going forward if you face them again? Yeah, well, I think it's good, too, to kind of get that loss out of the way now. Yeah. You know, I mean, we can afford it. We, it's, I'd rather do it now than in the championship no or the semifinal game yeah. or something like that. And, you know, we can watch that game back. We'll make adjustments, and we'll be more prepared for them the next time, and hopefully that will be in the championship game. That would be nice to get another shot at mm -hmm. them. Well, one of the players that's really led the way for you guys, freshman phenom Katie <laughs> Pridemore, she set the career mark or single season mark rather for goals uh, in your program's history. Mm -hmm. What is it meant to have her on your squad and a young player? Have you been at all surprised by how quickly she's kind of matured in your program? I mean, not really, just because I knew she was going to be a big time kid coming yeah. in. Um, but she's really stepped up, and the best thing about her is she hasn't even had the best game of her career yet. You know, but she comes. She had seven through. goals in one game. You're telling me I mean, she hasn't had the best game yet? Top to bottom. Okay, you know, all right, um, all right. But she comes through in the clutch. Like yeah. our high point game, she wasn't really playing well. But you know, sure enough, there's Katie who scored two goals in the last minute of the game to tie the game up. You know what I mean? And yeah. so to have that kind of composure as a freshman is incredible. And it just makes she makes everybody else better. You know, like she makes big plays and it gets everybody else excited yeah. and they start to make plays. So. It's exciting, and the fact that she's a freshman just makes me happy. And recruiting is the life's blood of any program. Mm -hmm. Coaches always talk about that. Katie, not the only pride more you're going to have in your program here in the near future. Her sister also coming, right? Yeah, she'll be in a freshman next year, so we're really excited because she's a very good player too, obviously. Uh, she plays midfield, so she'll play a different role, but, I mean, uh, there's no doubt in my mind that she's going to come in and make just as big of an impact. Yeah, exciting times for your program. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned it, one regular season game left. That's at Longwood on Friday, mm -hmm. and then the Big South tournament starts up. You got the loss out of the way. How hard is it, or what are you doing now to kind of try to just put that behind you and, and look for Because still so much is out there that you guys can still accomplish. Oh, yeah. I mean, we just have to move forward. And with them, this is the first time they've – experience winning yeah so we can't dwell on the loss and they can't be going into Friday thinking they're not going to win the game so we just have to be over it because we have a lot of lacrosse to play in the next two weeks quickly you know, always hear coach talk about trying to instill that culture of learning how to win mm -hmm. what have you done specifically this year that has helped them learn how to win this season well it's been tough because we started with such a tough out of conference schedule so yeah you know we played a great first 10 games but we still walked away two and eight yeah. so they were still like okay you know it took them a while to buy in so that Campbell Coastal weekend was huge for us, and they realized, hey, we can not only win, but we can put teams away, and we've just been rolling ever since. Kelly Nangle, thanks so much for stopping no by. Thanks Good for having luck me. this weekend and beyond. Thanks.